Hey guys, welcome to Adventures in Prospecting, Mining Supplies in Orville. You know, we get a lot of people who come in and say, you know, is this gold? And they show me a piece of some flakes or whatnot. And I look at it, and one of the quickest ways to tell is, is that material flopping around in the water? In other words, is it suspended in the water? So what we're going to show you today is how gold resists movement. And the quickest way to do that is just to get yourself a little scoop. This is our panning tub we have here at Adventures in Prospecting. And I'm using the Maverick pan. And I'm just going to get this down real quick. I'm using this pan because it's real quick. And I know you guys on YouTube, you like to browse a lot of videos and get through there quick and move on to the next thing. So this pan is really quick. Now, I've got material in my pan and I can see some gold flakes. What I'm going to do is do a little side to side movement in my pan and create a little wave. And that wave is going to slosh back and forth the suspended material that's in the pan while the gold, even the smallest piece, the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest little fly speck you can imagine wants to resist movement. While you'll have quartz and mica and pyrite and other rocks, pebbles flopping around. So just a little bit of movement and I can see that the gold is sticking where the other material is flopping around. So just remember gold resists movement. And that's one way of telling. This right here in my hand is a piece of mica. And this is often thought of as gold, but in fact it's fool's gold. But you can see how it shines even in the light here in, indoors. But I'm going to push off some because you can see it turns into more pieces. It's flaky. So if it turns into more pieces, it's mica. Or if it breaks into more pieces, that's how you can tell it's mica. And it'll flop around in the pan too. I'm going to put some of that in the pan. And so it's really glitterly, <laughs> glitterly. It's glitterly, glitterly. Just remember that. If it flops around and it's flashy, it's not gold, it's probably mica. And I'm going to show you one more thing that gets a lot of people get confused by. So this right here is interesting. This is a um, vial of pyrite. And it's more silvery. And sometimes people confuse this. Instead of confusing it with gold, they confuse it with silver. But I had a customer bring this in, and I it was a sad day for him because I had to tell him, no, that's not gold, that's pyrite but we'll put some of this in the pan and see what it does it's like we'll add a little special sauce spice wow do you see that it floats now that's surface tension and gold can do that too all that stuff floating there but what we're going to do is we're going to move it around and it's going to sink because i'm going to break that surface tension and now i'm going to flop it around i'm going to pour some more water out so we can do this now I've got pyrite, mica, I've got everything. I've got the whole mix. Fool's gold, the real gold. But see those other particles, they're flopping around in the pan. Whereas the gold, again, is resisting movement. It doesn't want to move. So just remember, if it's flopping around in the pan, it's not gold. If it breaks into more pieces and turns into a bunch more pieces like mica, then you know you got mica. And if it breaks into more chunks, I didn't show you that, but I did sh show you some flakes of pyrite and put it in there when it floated on the surface, but it, it does look like gold. What we have here is quartz and pyrite. And this is often confused as gold. This is a famous fool's gold. Um, a lot of people get confused by that. I'm going to show you how you can tell gold will never react like this. I'm going to take my knife and I'm gonna push my knife into it. And you see all those pieces I just created? Gold's not gonna, you can't whittle away gold. Pyrite though, you can. It's, you're gonna see this stuff and it turns into a bunch of flakes like that. I just shattered that pyrite. Gold does not shatter. So when you see a rock or you see flashy stuff, it even looks flashy now in the pan. Let's show you what it does, how it reacts in the pan now that I've taken it off the rock. 
See how the gold is sticking and everything else is flopping around? Even these little pieces over here, they don't want to move. And I just added a mixture of pyrite, mica, gold, and there's some quartz in there too. And quartz is going to flop around too. But the main thing I wanted to show you guys today is gold resists movement, pyrite breaks up, and mica turns into more pieces. All right, if you liked our video, go ahead and like it and subscribe if you want to, and uh, we'll see you out on the creek bank.